Yo guys, what's up? This is Ash and I just want to quickly walk you through a very quick video on the uh, the UI for Play Unknown's Battleground Mobile. So let's quickly get started. We have the start button that initiates your find a game mode, whether you're playing in a squad, duo or uh, uh, solo. That's the last one. Just below the start button, if you hit that little drop down, you'll see the, the, the mode you have there. The room button will allow you to create a room or join a room with your friends. Your tutorial button it shows you the basics of how to play the game broken down on the right hand side by menus. So you have gameplay controls, parachute, uh, backpack, weapons, throwable, consumable vehicles and swimming. This just tells you how, you know, which buttons you got to use, etc. Right. Uh, let me close that menu. Moving down the bottom left is below the logo. You have your friends icon. And if you click on that, you'll be able to pick up your Facebook friends, your game friends your recent teams and add friends recent teams if you are playing with random people you can find them on this list and hit the little icon on the right hand side this uh, after the time where it says 19 hours ago if i look at the first player it'll have a little picture of, uh is it a picture like a little silhouette of an of a character and a plus sign you hit that and they'll get the friend request moving on to the bottom right next to that you'll see it says invite friends and this is friends you can invite to matches once again recent and and also crew if you join the crew you then have your your, your your chat button that allows you to chat to other people globally this is a chat to your friends and when you join a squad you'll have an extra button where you can chat directly to the squad from there this is your join a room button so you can chat to people in the room you have a mic option below that you have a little text box where you can type some stuff you have some emotes you get from the game itself this little icon here will allow you to do a team recruitment so you can get other players to join you so if you don't have any friends, you can use that button. And obviously the send button initiates the actual action. I'm going to close that off. Moving along, you'll have a little flag. The flag also allows you to do a team recruitment directly from, from that menu button. You have your missions, which are your daily missions where you actually get uh, you get ranked in regards to the currency being uh, coins, sorry, being stars. So higher stars means higher player level. Player levels do not impact the game, whatever. This is not a play uh, a buy or pay to win should i say so this is everyone starts off even these are all cosmetic stuff so all those crates you see on the top you'll either get uh, stars or dog tags you don't have events at the moment there is no events taking place or updated rewards Ugh, i think it's one where it says update the latest version which i've already done and you get that parachute and that'll uh what is that outfit box level three expires in seven days where you can get camo and accessories for your characters that's the actual currency i was talking about that's your squad rewards so complete three matches in a squad mode and you win 300 and then your daily sign-ins where there's nothing taking place in the moment so this is not as busy or as active as the uh the chinese versions moving up the top left you have the uh the crew which is if you join someone's clan so to speak like clash of clans or uh, alliances this is where you'd find it this is your rank in regards to where do you rank. Uh, this is come back to rank. You have it a solo squad duo and you can change the server to Europe, for example. And then you have your friends. So you could see where your friends are ranking as well. On the right hand side, you have the rank button, which actually does nothing. You have the total rankings, which is what we're looking at on the main screen. You have your survival rankings. You have your kill rankings and you have your seasoned rankings. Moving next to that, you have the inventory, which shows you all the items you've collected. Once again, these are cosmetic items only. So you'll see that all the cosmetic items are here. And you can change stuff by, you know, the hat icon will give you stuff to, for your headgear. Uh, this will give you stuff for your face, like glasses and masks and stuff like, like goggles. The next one is your jackets and t-shirts. So if I tap on something, you'll see that the shirt changes, etc. You don't have your pants, skirts, depending on your character gender. I have seen some guys running around with skirts, which is quite funny. You don't have your, your footwear, you know, your foot gear. So I'll just change mine to tackies. All right. And then on the extreme right, this icon is selected with a little man's face. That's the clothing section. That's the parachute section where you can select different kinds of parachutes. So there we go. And the last one is actually your supply boxes where you actually get the items for clothing and loot, uh, clothing, sorry. And closing that off, the last button you, our second last button you have there is your, uh, your, uh, la, 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 la. your mail button where you'll get emails from your friends that send you gifts as in coins, you'll get system messages, etc. Right. 
The last button you have on the extreme right is the cogwheel. If you press on the cogwheel, this is your settings button. This is where you can change the crosshair. You can change a whole bunch of settings. So if you're ever looking for settings, that's where you get to it. You can change your graphics, controls, vehicle, sensitivity, pickup, audio, uh, and language, etc. So if you wanted to chat to everyone, you'll set your voice channel to all. All right, below that you have my, your player icon. In my case, it's my player icon with my alias, which is Dead's Chaos. If I tap on that, it'll give you the details of your character. So you can see on solo, I'm in bronze. Duo, I'm in silver. Score, I'm in silver as well. Stats will give you your stats in the game in regards to how well you've played as solo. Duo, squad has, you can see I'm changing it in the top. You can change this via server as well. I generally play on the Europe or North American server. And uh, what am I missing? Oh, one last thing. By the start button on the right, you have server and you have Europe. So if I click on Europe, you'll see the servers that are available. We have North America, Europe, Asia, and South America. Next to that, you'll see your ping in regards to your connection, your latency to the game. And uh, this is if you want to change servers, you can. You can also, uh, the last thing is move your character around with your finger to have a better look at from a 3D point of view of what your character looks like and what other players will see in the game. You can click that little S1 uh, icon. And this is, brings up your squad, your squad rewards from a season perspective. So you'll say you'll see that it says season rewards for full conditions in solo, duo, squad, uh, squad mode on any server to collect rewards. And that's basically it, guys. That's the UI for uh, Play Unknown Battlegrounds, the English version. Just to reiterate, this is for the English versions. All right, guys. That's Ashmiash Gaming signing out. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.